is that a bronzer? And the answer is sort of, because it'll do what you want a bronzer to do, but it will do so much more. It's so much more than a bronzer. It gives you the look of warmth and vitality. You've actually made the need for a standard bronzer obsolete. Yes. You know, bronzer can be a scary thing because bronzer is, um, it can go on very aggressively. It could be, have too much pigment in it, and so it's going to grab and um, just deposit too much color. And that's what people really get nervous with. And so I wanted to create, because a lot of times I want to add warmth to a complexion yeah. because it makes you look younger. It makes you look more vital, like more yeah. vitality. Yeah. It makes your eyes look brighter, your teeth look whiter. Um, but I didn't want something that's going to make you necessarily tan unless you want it to. Mm -hmm. So it's a transparent, matte um, color okay, that's warming. Okay, so this warming. is pretty much genius. So we have two shades. We have the light and we have the deep. Yes. Uh, if you want to start ordering now, how do I know which one to pick? Okay, well the light is for people who uh, have very pale skin and um, it's got more of a golden undertone. Okay. So that you could really create a beautiful, um, you know, warmth to the complexion without going there and okay. like having to be tan but you could also build it up and, and then be you don't have to worry about it being orange either right which a lot of women who have very fair complexions complain about bronzer being too much of a good e thing exactly and then the deep is actually has more of a red undertone so it's um it's buildable just the same but it will have the right um, amount of punch for you because you need that red in, in a deeper gotcha. um, complexion okay. all right well, let's see it so let action. me show you let's see okay so we're going to do the light one here and i just want to show you I'm going to go wherever the sun would naturally hit you, which okay. is across your forehead. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to go across the tops of your cheekbones, just like this. And as you could see, it is, I don't know if you could see on camera, but it is warming the complexion up, but it's not doing it in a very obvious, aggressive way, but you could build it up, which is really important for it to look natural. And it's not an opaque color because that would make it very artificial looking. Well, if you find that you're using a bronzer that you have to, like, after you put it on, like, sort of blend most of it away, right. it's I'm, probably the wrong bronzer. I also think it's really cute to kind of tap on the bridge of the nose like this because you always get more sun on the nose and... That's a youthful look. It's cute, and it also kind of brightens up the eyes, especially when you've got light eyes like that. Now, look, she looks perfectly beautifully bronzed or warm. And natural. Yeah, and I also like to always do the ear because I oh that's a good tip because your hair often is covering your ears so it never gets sun anyway so i just think that it's a good way to make your ears look smaller oh, because darker things that. recede for continuity but that yeah. too but light um light things stand out okay. and look bigger that's why we don't like you know white all the time to wear yeah, yeah, yeah. and then darker things recede oh and take a look at this before and after so yeah. she is wearing obviously this Christopher's is... eyeliner and mascara but just and his foundation but look at the warmth of her skin that is coming from the exposure matte warming powder which man that and the lipstick actually make her teeth even look warmer. yeah and you know it comes with this little brush I'm using a big brush because it keeps my hand further away so you could mm -hmm. see what I'm doing at home okay. but this is the brush that it comes with and it's a flat brush, so you could use, cover, you know, wider spaces, and then you can turn it sideways and you can get into your eye socket. You could even contour a little bit with it. And this is like the way of maybe a nod. People get freaked out over contouring and uh -huh. stuff, but this is a great way of just visiting it. And you could do this, wear it during the day and not have to even worry about it. Look, just narrow the nose a little. But in a way that looks natural. And natural, you could also, do a little along your jawline if you feel like you need, you know. Yeah, I always do that. I think that's, I think everybody can use uh, that unless they're like. Even if you don't need to do it, <laughs> trust me, kind just of a do nice, it. I always put a little bit of bronzer there. But these are, you know, you don't have to have like But a, this is the aggressive... right color. You don't, you won't end up just looking like you have a dirty neck. Like, uh, you know what I mean? Like the, yeah, like this or really... a beard. You yeah. don't want to look like <laughs> exactly. you have a beard. Exactly, like this so. is the right way to pull off that trick. So I think we have some more before and afters that we can see on the ladies, but this is incredible. The retail value is about $40 and change. We're doing it for just three easy payments of $10.67. So we're really excited about that and you're going to see it on the ladies and notice the warmth that their skin has now that's a very pale gorgeous lady but she's wearing the light and she doesn't look like she's a tan person but there is dimension the multi-dimensional 
uh, complexion, which is really what it's a naturalizing thing to do to your to your foundation. Absolutely. This foundation can go on and cover, and then it's like very flat. It's all even. But in nature, we don't have one color skin so consistently. So you could add dimension. Well, and especially when you know when you use a foundation. The nice thing about foundation is that it makes your skin very even toned. But you then need to go back and put some dimension back into right. it. Right, and this is perfect for it because it's completely controllable, completely buildable, and you can you don't have to worry about like barely tapping into it you can go put it on and it's going to do it exactly oh, what I'm saying with the warmth yes. she's wearing that Bardot lipstick I believe that was in our kit but take a look at the warmth of her skin and that's it looks like deep and it's looking really gorgeous and again it just there's a it just makes you look healthier it makes everything pop it makes your teeth look brighter it makes your eyes look more sparkly and it adds contrast to the okay, face okay I want some now oh <laughs> well okay <laughs> I'm looking at these ladies and I'm like, I'm going to be on air for another two and a half hours. I might need a little pop of something. A little pop of warmth. I'm going to go a little bit on your neck yeah, like okay. this. Oh, good, because actually, you know what I was noticing? I could actually use that because I think my neck might be a little bit lighter than the rest it's of It's always face. good to make your neck a little bit darker because okay. it does help with the jawline. All right, you got to hook okay. me up on that because I noticed oh, yeah. that in the monitor. It's looking a little so light I'm just, on my neck. But yeah, that's a beautiful warmth already. Oh, yeah, look at that. Actually, wait, look. You can see my bronzer tan line. Yeah, but, it, but it's not aggressive, you know? <laughs> it's not aggressive. And again, we're just going to go wherever yeah. the sun Okay. will hit you wherever right. the sun shines. Now, are you using the light or this the deep This is the light. light. Oh, okay. Okay, good. I also, you know, at work, I do the light all over the face. Okay. And then I go in with the deep. And then oh, I, if you want to do more contouring. Yeah, or, so that's or like just kind of more sun. Next level. Oh, gotcha. If you want, if you're like a girl that loves bronzer and bronzing and tanning and sun, then you can do both, okay. actually, and, and have right. fun with that. Oh, I just like how it doesn't look orange. I'm looking oh, no. at the monitor. My neck now actually matches my face a little better than when I came out here tonight. Well, actually, that is the key to really looking more natural. Yeah. Even if you're wearing more makeup, if everything has a continuity of color mm -hmm. and texture, you will always look like you're wearing less makeup, you, even though you're wearing more. Oh, wait, here. I'll give you this side really quickly. Oh, I'm sorry. Am I taking too long? I, no. Oh, gosh. No, 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 no. The just, artist in me, really, I can't even please, help myself. Please, please take your time. I'm sorry if it's taking too long for you. But look, sorry. I want to show you. I don't mind showing you this. Okay. Like, look. There's the difference. Oh, wait, I have a little brush hair right there. Yep. But look, you can see the difference. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. By the way, that was not attached. It was that not was attached, no. Unless you think I have that issue as well. <laughs> I'm sure you guys sell something to get rid of it, though. So I'm going to get an email like, Sandra has big black hair on her neck. Um, <laughs> that was the brush hair. But um, but really, like, it's so natural looking. Yes. And it's, yeah, and it's, yeah. that's the key. I mean, if, it, if you it's can see the trick, bronzer, if you can see the trick, yeah. it's not magic. Because it's not really a bronzer. It is a matte warming powder, more than a bronzer. The look of warmth, the look of vitality. Thanks for the little touch up, Chris. Yeah, Mark. you're welcome. You're amazing. So three easy payments of $10.67 with free shipping and handling. Okay, but now I think we're going to do what is one of my most favorite items in the show. It was my absolute favorite until I just got my hands on that warming powder, and now I'm not so sure. <laughs> I'll get you um, I love that. <laughs> okay, so this next one, Customer Choice Award nominee for oh. Best Brow. So Christopher is nominated. It is the Brow Champion Brow Enhancing Duo, three easy payments of $9.71. One of the reasons it's nominated, well, the big reason it's nominated, is because this has over 135 star reviews. Women are going crazy for it. Tonight, our professional makeup artist back in the QVC studio was saying how much he loved it. Jordan and I said, why do you love it so much? And he gave me a quick tutorial. Oh, cute. He was like, what does this, it does this. Um, I'm gonna let you do that, but really, this is all you need. It's really a little brow kit. Yes, it is. It's three in one, well, four in one, really, because you've got this little brush on the top of the inkwell, and on the bottom, there is a pomade. Just like the uh, full disclosure, it's like a primer, more yeah. than it's like a paint. And then the top flips open, and you have a mirror and two shades of brow shadow. And the reason why there's two shades is because I create like a 3D brow and it makes a, it's like a naturalizing effect. So you always have a natural looking brow. Like you're really yes. into like natural looking beauty. You don't want anyone to ever, you don't want people to say like, oh, I like your brow, like I, I think like it's, your brow makeup. It's very easy to put the pedal to the metal, but I think that it's best to, for me to arm everyone with the ability to create the most natural best them yeah. and then build on top of that. I love it. Okay, so we have actually two shades. Yes. There is blonde and brunette, mm -hmm. and um, the reason for that is that um, it's 
really, those are the only shades I've ever used when I, whenever I'm doing anyone's makeup because it's really, you're getting those two shades. So between that, it really Okay, so let me great. just ask you, if I have red hair, do I do the 